guys and welcome back to LSJ TV. As you guys have seen at the end of the last video, the start of today's video is going to be a walkthrough of whatever workout I'm going to do. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to do a compound for every single muscle part, purely because I haven't trained for a week. I want to just gradually ease myself in, so I think for the next two or three days I'm going to do a full body program. I've had my lean pre-workout. I am so ready for this. I've not trained in a week and that is long, 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 long time for me, especially when I make videos like this about it, when I just, it's just my lifestyle in general and anyone who knows me knows that. So, without further ado guys, let's get today's video started. So as many of you OG subscribers know, it gets very, very cold in the garage, it gets very cold in the home gym and so, a very rare sight is me training in joggers. It's a good job I've got some joggers coming out, you know, it's, it's, it's funny that. You never know. Don't show up to my show, got no energy. Energy. <laughs> energy. <laughs> right, I've got to be so careful, I've got to be so, so, so careful to not get carried away because I'll tell you what, I'm so ready for this. My stomach still hurts a little bit, I'm not even going to lie. But I'm just powering through, I'm so ready. <laughs> My lap is like a ball game. I have literally spent the last like 20 minutes warming up and I still don't feel warm. One, because I have the body of an 80 year old inside a 20 year old. And two, because it's freaking cold in here. Really, really taking my time, especially because I've not trained for over a week. And so that means to an old man like me, even though I'm not an old man, I stiffen up like crazy. So just gotta take my time and be careful. Sick. Sick. That's uh, that's a little bit, a little bit unfortunate to be honest with you guys. Uh, that was a set of five or maybe no five, yeah five on um, on eighty. Bear in mind I was hitting eighty five for six to eight reps, three sets. That's not great. However, I do have to bear in mind that over the time of being ill, I've lost over three pounds. I've not trained for over a week and so it takes a couple of sessions to get back into it anyway. And so, I mean my bench kind of went up with my weight. Does that mean that my bench has gone back down again? I mean only time will tell. Hopefully, if anything, it will mean that I can bench more at a lower weight and then I might actually benefit from it in the long run. But, only time will tell. That's, it's a bit of a bummer, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Bang average sets of bench press done. Next is going to be lap pull down on the pulleys. <laughs> Warmed up a lot more now, so I've got my Emblem V2 t shirt coming out very, very soon. So I've literally just finished, so I'm out of breath. Um, the thing I like about the lap pull down on the pulleys is that it's not your stereo, it's not your typical like. You set, you sit down, you lock your knees in, and then you, you know, you do a pull down. Like it's not a bent bar or anything like that. It's a nice straight bar, just as if you're doing a pull up on a bar, right? That also means that because they're on two separate pulleys, it basically means that if you pull more on this side, then you'll end up like this. Look, see, see how it's gone slanted. See how you can go like that. So it really makes you focus on keeping it nice and steady, nice and straight the whole way up and the whole way down. The reason I love that so much is that it makes you focus on that mind to muscle connection. It's something that I found you don't really get from a, from a normal lap pull down machine. You just sort of shrug and then, you know, you, you just move the weight as much as you can. Whereas this, would I have a lap pull down machine? Absolutely, yes, if we had the space. Yes, I would, a million percent. 
But this is just something completely different and I love it. But what I'm actually doing is following the LSJ three day full body program at the minute. Uh, and to be honest, I was gonna do shoulder press next because that's what's next on the program. That's what I'd normally do. I'd do three major compounds and move on to, uh, to isolations when I'm doing full body anyway. But I'm feeling pretty damn gassed. And so I think I might move straight onto the isolations and then hit shoulder press tomorrow because it does actually fit in again. So as shoulders are a strong point of mine, I think that's the best thing for me to miss out rather than missing out on bench or that pull down or anything like that. Just knowing your own body and knowing your own strengths, your own weaknesses, when you're easing yourself back in, think about it, do it carefully, think about it strategically, your strengths and your weaknesses, what can you miss, what can't you? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Two sets in of leg extensions, and I don't know what it is, but something about it today. Probably because I haven't warmed up legs, I've literally just jumped into it. Normally, I've warmed up, done my squats, done my stiff legged deadlifts, and then I move on to this. But for some reason, this has really got me out of breath. Right, this is pretty simple. I said I wasn't gonna. Got towards the end of the workout, finished my leg sets, finished my shoulder sets, chest sets, back sets, everything. I can't resist a bit of shoulder press. I just can't. Right, as you guys know, I've been doing 70 kilos, that's only 40. I was gonna keep it at 40, but that felt good. Let's go, let's go with 50. Decent. Do we go for 60? Do we go for 60? Yeah, we go for 60. Still no rest. Sixty will do for today. You know what? That wasn't bad at all. A week off, set of like ten on forty, straight up to a set of five on fifty, straight up to a set of six on sixty. Hmm. Oh man, finishing off. Some buys and tries. <laughs> feeling good, but feeling absolutely knackered at the same time. Hmm, definitely, definitely do. With a lean active chocolate orange protein shake after this. <laughs> what a great idea! Not bad after a week off, not bad. So guys, that whew, is gonna round off today's video, round off today's workout, round off today's walkthrough. God, I'm absolutely gassed, but I feel good at the same time, got all those positive endorphins that I needed. Not training, I'm not gonna lie, it was getting me down, which is my favorite thing to do, and if I can't do it, yeah. I'm bound to, you know, miss it, but anyway. That was that, guys, it's sort of like an improvised workout, kind of, I was gonna follow the program, but I didn't follow it exactly, just went with how I feel, which I think is probably best when, you know, it's your first session back for a little while. So, drop a video a like if you did enjoy it, and a comment down below. Subscribe if you are new to the channel, you will not regret it. I will be making many, many, many more videos like this in the home gym, and many more videos back at uni as well. So if you like seeing me here, then drop a like and a comment down below. Thanks so much for watching if you made it this far. As always, remember, no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.